Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with the wastewater engineering in the topic of trickling filter. So the problem is a town having the population of 30,000 persons is producing the following sewage. So first one is domestic sewage at 120 LPCD having 200 milligram per liter of BOD. Then second one is industrial sewage 3 lakh uh, LPCD. Uh, that is uh, LPD liter per day having the 800 milligram liter of BOD. Okay, so these BODs are initial BOD. So then design the high rate single stage trickling filter for the treating the sewage, assuming that the primary sedimentation tank removes 35 percentage of BOD. So then allow the organic loading of 10,000 kg per hectare meter per day. Then, then this is uh, this value is excluding of recirculation sewage. Then the recirculation rate is 1.0. Then surface loading should not exceed 170 milligram per hectare per day. So these values including of uh, recirculation sewage also determine the efficiency and BOD removal. Okay, so BOD removal BOD of effluent. Okay. So these are all the given values and uh, they are asking for efficiency of BOD and uh, uh, the size of uh, trickling filters then BOD of effluent okay. So now we have to find out the solution. So the first step is we have to find out the total BOD. Of sewage. So for the first one domestic, so domestic uh, the total quantity of domestic sewage equal to 120 liters per capita. So that is capita is 30,000. Okay. So now we got the value of 3.6 million liters per day. Okay. So now the Domestic sewage BOD of equal to 3.6 million liters per day into so the total value is 200 milligram per liter. So 200 milligram per liter. Okay, so now we can convert into uh, 3.6 into 10 power 3 meter cube per day so we can convert it to meter cube because uh, 1 meter cube equal to 1000 liters okay into 2000 we can convert into uh, kg so now two, uh, sorry 200 gram per liter sorry gram per meter cube so the gram is convert into kg so now 3.6 into 10 power 3 meter cube per day into 200 into 10 power minus 3 kg per meter cube okay meter cube meter cube will cancel so the only kg per day will be answered okay so solving this we got the value of 720 kg per day so this is uh, domestic uh, sewage so we have to know the industrial sewage too Now quantity of industrial sewage equal to 3 lakhs liters ok. So now the BOD is uh, 3 lakhs liters so we can convert into liters per day we can convert into meter cube per day so that is uh, 300 meter cube per day into the value is uh, BOD is, is 800 so now 800 gram per meter cube ok so this is my, uh, milligram per liter so we can convert into gram per meter cube so now uh, again we will convert into kg so now 300 m cube per day into 800 into 10 power minus 3 kg per meter cube so meter cube meter cube will cancel the kg uh, per day will be the answer okay so now we got the value of uh, 240 kg per day 
okay so totally uh, 720 is domestic and 240 is uh, industrial okay so we can add and we got the value of uh, BOD total BOD so now the total BOD equal to the domestic uh, we got the value of two, uh, 720 plus for industry we got the value of 240 so the total is 960 kg per day okay so now 35 percentage of BOD removed in primary clarifier okay so now only 65 percentage of BOD come into trickling filter okay so now 960 into 65 divided by 100 so we got the value of 6 to 4 kg per day so this is the BOD uh, we have to treat okay so now volume of filter equal to total BOD removed divided by organic loading okay so total BOD removed is uh, 624 kg per day divided by organic loading is 10,000 okay so we got the value of uh, so we got the value of uh, hectare meter so we can convert into meter uh, meter cube so now 6 to 4 divided by 10,000 into 10 power 4 so we got the value of 6 to 4 meter cube okay so 6 to 4 meter cube so now the total volume of sewage flowing equal to 3.6 into 10 power 6 liters per day that is 3.6 million liters per day plus 3 lakhs liters so 3 lakhs liters uh, 3 into 10 power sorry 0 0.3 into 10 power 6 liters per day so totally we got the value of 3.9 into 10 power 6 liters per day okay so this is the total BOD So total so this is the total volume of sewage flowing so now uh, recirculation ratio is 1 so uh, r equal to original volume that is uh, so now r equal to recirculation is 1 so r equal to the same value the original value equal to 3.9 into 10 power 6 liters per day so now total volume equal to original plus recirculation ok so now 2 into 3.9 into 10 power 6 liters per day so we got the value of 7.8 million liters per day okay so now the filter required filter area required equal to total flow volume divided by surface loading So now 7.8 million liters per day divided by 170 million sorry yeah, yeah, million liters per hectare into day ok
so now 7.8 divided by 170 into 10 power 4 meter square okay so now we got the value of 458.8 meter square so this is the area okay now dia of tank area equal to pi by 4 into d square so now the area we know 458.8 equal to pi by 4 into d square so now we got the value of d is equal to 24.17 meter okay so this is a diameter of the trickling filter okay so now the depth of filter required depth equal to volume of filter media divided by surface area okay so now we got the volume is uh, 624 meter cube divided by so the surface area is uh, 452.16 one six meter square so this is a meter cube so meter cube so meter square will be cancelled so we got the value of 1.38 meter so this is a depth okay so now uh, moving to second part the efficiency efficiency of trickling filter so nita equal to 100 divided by 1 plus 0 0.0044 into root of y divided by v into y okay so now uh, now the volume v is equal to 6 to 4 divided by 10000 equal to 0 0.0624 hectare meter okay now recirculation equal to 1 plus r by i divided by 1 plus 0 0.1 into r by i into the whole square okay so r by value is 1 so 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.1 into 1 into the sorry this whole square so we got the value of 1.65 okay so this is the f value so we can substitute all the values over here so nita we have to find out the 100 divided by 1 plus 0 0.0044 into root of so total b is 624 we have to remove so divided by 0 0.0624 into 1.65 okay 1.65 is f okay so now the solving this we got the value of nita equal to 74.5 percentage okay so we can move into say uh, another question so that is BOD of uh, the effluent. BOD at. So how much the BOD is uh, needed? So how much BOD in? Uh, so how much BOD in effluent uh, time? So now the total is hundred minus seventy four point five divided by hundred. Okay, so we got the value. Sorry, into the total BOD we have to treat. So six to four. Okay, so entering BOD, so we got the value of uh, 159.12 kg. Okay, so now BOD concentration at effluent. Equal to 159.12 into 10 power 6 divided by 3.9 into 10 power 6 okay so that is milligram per liter okay so we got the value of 40.8 milligram per liter so this is the answer okay again we will see in next video thank you